Because of the quail incident, we were one passing, we chose to dispatch the rest early. Um, our goal was to have them only dispatched after the ones, the new ones are ready for their cage. But unfortunately, I think it's necessary to do them now. So Brody's gonna help me dispatch the quail. We're gonna film dispatching the quail. We will dis we will film cleaning them. Um, so if you have a you don't like watching that stuff, just don't watch it. Um, I don't want to get any hate from this, but it is part of homesteading and it is part of life. It's having to dispatch animals. I and still have yum stew. Yeah, she wants quail stew for supper, so that's I fine with me. I never had quail stew. Mommy tells me it tastes like partridge. And she likes her partridge. Yes, I do. <laughs> so, she's going to help me. It's pretty good. Pretty cool. A 10-year-old helping me dispatch animals. And Mommy says it's kind of like um, skinning a rabbit. And she likes to do that too, so. And I don't want to give anybody the wrong impression that I'm proud of my kids for helping me dispatch quail. Um, I'm proud of them because, one, they didn't freak out. Brendan, when I told him about the first quail dying, he did cry, um, but they didn't freak out. They understand we got the quail for meat. It is a necessity to dispatch them, clean them, and put them in the freezer. We didn't get them for pets, we got them for meat. And my kids have been very, very good with understanding that this is the reason why we have them. This is not to be grotesque, this is not to be disgusting. Are we going to kill the baby ones? No, baby. Those, Those are, are egg eggs. layers. The reason why he cried the first time is because that one was his favorite. Mm -hmm. It was his favorite. But I he's a big boy. Um, mm -hmm. The quail are a source of meat for us. So I don't want to, I didn't want this to be disgusting. Um, that's why I didn't film the dispatching. This is the process of cleaning them. It is completely natural. Um, and if you don't want to expose your kids to that, that's all on you guys. I'm not saying expose your kids to it. My kids are interested in the process, especially Brody, because she wants to be able to help me around the homestead. Brennan's seven years old. He didn't want to be a part of the process of butchering, but he did come out on his own free will and wanted to see them after they were butchered. Or, sorry, dispatched. Now the cleaning process. It wasn't that bad, was it, Brennan? It was actually mm. easier than I thought. Mm. She's munching on one of my homemade cookies. Oh. Are they ginger? They are ginger snaps. I love ginger. We, we still have the whole thing in there. No, that was last one. <laughs> so, these guys have been resting for about an hour. That's all five quail cleaned and processed. So I'm gonna let these rest about 24 hours. Um, I chose not to show the cleaning process. It is a little grotesque. Um, just because there's kids watching. But once they're cleaned and processed, it just looks like turkey or chicken. Um, little chickens is what they look like. So, yeah, that's the five quail that we had. Um, they were older quail, and you can tell by the meat that they were older. Uh, the meat is very, very tough looking. They do have some nicks and scarring on their meat a little bit. So yeah, we're gonna let them sit overnight in the fridge. And that's the quail.